There are so many stray pit bulls here in New Orleans. And just about three weeks ago, before we even had our doors open, we got a call for two sets of abandoned puppies. The first litter of puppies were under a trailer. Her litter totaled nine. The other mother, she somehow managed to get up on a second story of an old, rotted out, abandoned house. I don't even know how this dog got up there. The thing that I remember the most as we got further and further up the stairs, the house was just solid mold. I couldn't breathe. It was like suffocating me. I was just like, you know, wheezing. It was never, never experienced that before in my life. So we found the little puppies totaling 11 and we saw that they were just saturated in fleas. And it was one of those things where you didn't want to touch them, but you couldn't leave them there. So all together, between the two mamas, was 20 puppies. OK, Sissy, can you distract him over here? <laughs> Come on, friends. <laughs> oh, my god. I think in the beginning, we're like, okay, we're taking 20 puppies, but they were really small. Well, puppies grow up. Okay, it was cool for a second. It was cute for a minute. Taking on 20 puppies and their mothers, some rescue facilities have just 22 dogs. So basically what we did was bring home enough dogs to start its own little rescue. So between all the dogs that we brought out with us from California and all these additional new little ones, and pair that up with the fact that some of the parolees were not allowed to leave California, we are beyond understaffed. Hey, no one needs your opinion.